Hey, good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas. Um, I got a call from my guest that was going to be coming in, uh, my friend Ed Hardy and Pam. They were in an automobile accident. Fortunately, they, nobody was hurt. That is yeah, that yeah, good. You know, so, to but their cars were they're not for both, so we'll have to rebook them again. And we were going to talk about bipolar. Bipolar is a mental d d disease. That I, I think everybody has some kind of a bipolar or well, oranges or all you. that, you know. And the doctor do not know what to do with it. So what do they do? They medicate you. Right, but you know, it's funny. The, and what the sad part about medicating people is it does absolutely nothing to help them. It just masks what's going on. Right. With them. Oh, yeah. Well, instead of going, we'll just uh, band aid the problem. You know, right. we'll give them psychotropic yeah. drugs. We'll, we'll, we'll band aid <laughs> this. We'll band and get, I'm a firm believer when I see people talking to themselves quite loudly and they get all upset. Yeah. I believe that they're really talking to the people from the other side. I really do. Wow. They could very well be. Especially when a person may be in a car accident or maybe mm -hmm. killed, because then they're not sure. Um, that they should be here or should they be on the other side so they're communicating with both sides mm -hmm. and you, they can call me wacky with, by the way you want to introduce yourself before we get carried away David B here lowellmediumshop.com 617-777-2236 tarot readings psychic readings medium chip crystal ball readings check me out Biffid, B-I-F-F-I-D, at yahoo.com. Do you enjoy doing the readings? I love doing the Isn't readings. I really do. I, I like, you know, I like, like, I, I love doing them on the phone. Because mm -hmm. you really, you don't see them and they don't see you, you know. But exactly. You, you, you can draw their energy. Oh, well, I use Facebook Messenger a lot. And um, or in Zoom mm -hmm. because I think it's a challenge because you guide by the vibe. Do you go by the vibration of their voice? Well, I go by that, but yeah, when I, I connect. I've been doing it for a, for a long time. You know, I read this book several years ago. I forget the oh, guy. Oh, I didn't know you know how to read. Imagine. <laughs> it was a small book, so I figured oh, okay. I could do it. Yeah. But I forget the guy's name. I got to tell you, this guy makes everything so easy. Like he was saying, you know, to like they talk about grounding. He's got you doing it in like 10 seconds. He says... Other books, it's like a two-day process, which it is because I've read books like that. It's like, you got to be kidding me. It's like you need a, a week to prepare just to do a five-minute reading right. with some of them. Yeah. So I like that, but for connecting, I, you know, well, you know, it's hard to, it's like, well, I do ground myself every day, you know, before I do them because I do the thing mm. online. Right. But, you know, it's easy. I sort of, when I hear the phone ring, when I know a call is coming in or, you know, it's an appointment, right beforehand, you know, before I answer the call or right before the appointment, I just sort of, you know, connect with them before yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, you know what I, I do, mean, yeah. yeah. And what I like to do, too, every time when a client comes in the office, and I change the office before they come oh, in. Oh, me and me and when they I come in. And then I change it when they leave. Mm -hmm. And I also will bless the cards whenever, you know. And like when a lot of times what I do when on Messenger, Facebook, or Zoom, I get mm -hmm. a practice. And I will lay the cards out so they can see it, you know. Cause yeah. Mm -hmm. They need, I, I, when they come in the office, because even though I don't really need them, and apparently you don't either, but I right. think they need that reassurance when, when yeah. the card is saying this and that. You know, like, uh, we're going to do a couple of readings on Manchester and uh, state okay. and in uh, the country. What do you think? Sure, okay. sounds good to me. So, you know, and, uh, well, the one thing I always let people know, I'm not always 100% accurate. And me, that's but, what I tell uh, them. It's not... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell them what they want to hear. As much as they want to hear, I can't. Exactly. Maybe, you know, yeah. connect with them, and maybe it won't, but I'm a firm believer that... You have to hear what yeah. the Spirit wants you to hear. It, you know, I got this reading this morning. This was of the onla on, online thing, yeah. right? So, and she's telling me she doesn't know what to, she's getting stalked, she says. And it's a group of people she's telling me. So I'm telling her it's one main character. 
and she doesn't know what to do, and she's like panicking, blah blah, you know, yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, bit. Yeah. Point, you know, I'm getting stalked. I'm in the shelter. I'm in one, you know, living here, living there. So what I'm telling her is right from the get go. I says I'm getting the feeling. I says that, you know, I says the reason they're finding you wherever you're going. I says because you're reaching out to them. No, I'm not. Blah blah blah. But you know how it goes. Ten minutes into the reading, what does she come out with? Well. Yeah, I do make contact. She says, I don't tell them where I am. But, it, you know, she says, I said, yeah, but they get your phone number. I said, so, you know, you don't, well, are you right? But then if I didn't have contact with them, it's a lonely journey. It's like, well, then, then why, you know, this you know and like, I just you know? cut it. I said, well, it's kind of obvious. I said, you know, you enjoy it, so. Yeah. Beyond, She's you know, looking there for attention from you. Right, yeah. And the confirmation is okay. You exactly. Know? It's like right, a, but I just told her, I said, you know, I said, you just wasted, what, 10 to 15 minutes of my yeah, time. Yeah, it's money. I don't care. Well, well I know, but, yeah. you know. But I, I never, never ever tell a client that. What? That wasting your time. Oh, well, I did because she just, you know, oh, I get, you know. Because they needed that always. And the reason why I say that, maybe they need to hear you say that to them. So... Yeah, you're not, they're not really, there's always been the spirit of putting you there to mm -hmm. help them, yeah. you know. And I'll have a lot of people say, oh, you wasted my time, and I'll, okay, then why did you call me? Right, yeah. Or I'll have them say, well, if you do the reading now, I'll pay you. No, pay me, you know. Right. Um, and, uh. You, the ones that give me the harness or don't make a, you know, don't keep the, I the ones that I say, okay. I'm not going to charge you this week, you know. And, and then I guess they feel, oh, well, he's not going to charge me so I can do whatever I want to do with it. Mm -hmm. You know, and no, it doesn't work that way. Right. Well, I always tell them, you know, what I've just told you, I said, think of it as tools for you to work with. Absolutely. I always tell them that. Think of it as tools. Like the, this morning when I'm telling her that, everything, you know, she had an excuse for everything to keep, oh, to, I love that. you know, to keep the cycle going. It's like, you know, and I even told, you know, I says, it's, I says, it just seems that, you know, you're really not looking for a way out. Yeah. And that's when I said, I said, you know, you're just sort of wasting my time. Yeah. You know? I want to say that a lot, but then I remember this is what they, you know, but a lot of times they don't always want to hear what we have to, and well, right. I, I've had people tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, and that's okay. Right. Right. You know, right. You know, I don't expect to please everybody. Right. That's me. Right. I know. But, you know, it's funny when they say that. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. To me, it's the connection is so <laughs> strong. You know what I mean? It yeah. jumps at yeah. you what's going on with them. Yeah. When you tell them something they don't want to hear, yeah. um, you know what I mean? Like we'll say, oh, yeah. you know, you're, you're, you're out with a player. He's, you know, as soon as he drops you off, he's going with somebody else. You know, it's it's so strong. Oh, but he and still what, loves me, even though they haven't seen each other in three or four years, you know. Right, I months. know. And, 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 yeah. and you know what? And my heart goes out. Like the other day, I had a client. I, I love her dearly. She's like an adopted daughter. She's a friend, so I won't call her. She had a grand mal seizure. Ooh, ooh. She yeah. called me. And I said, Are you okay? She went to the hospital. The doctor refused to take care of her because she did not have. Oh, the shots. shot. That, they should, that's where they should pass mandates. Well, why the heck did the hypocritical, hypocritical, all the, no one is not going, you know, you can't take care of everybody. Right, but you know, and the, really it's the law because they're getting, yeah. they all get funded by, they all get funding some sort from the federal government. Yeah. And what's the strings attached to them getting the funding is they're to refuse service and treatment to no one right. and they do yeah. but this is what gets me again see people don't know the law they don't know their rights well, and this well, is what happened remember happens. biden is supplying the money now mine that has every credit oh party. that's right okay. so they don't have to so abide they don't by, have the to rules. Abide by the rules that's right yeah. i for, keep forgetting I have, a, yeah. I have another friend who had the shot her second shot she's been on her couch for the last seven days very very ill Speaking I'm of, not saying all the people will get sick on them. Right. I'm not saying that at all. Then what you know, when I feel it should have to be our choice, our decision, yep. not the Democrats, not the president, not anybody. Well, I mean, I agree, and even 
still, what are they, they're down the Supreme Court protesting the pro-abortion people. And what yeah. are they holding? Why is it my body, my choice when it comes to killing unborn children, right. but it's not my body, my choice when you want to preserve your own health? Right. Yeah. Huh? And I don't why get is it, it that, um, and, and you're absolutely right, and now you have to, they want you to show a card if you had the shot, be, then if you're going to have the shot, then I should have a, well, I, I here's my card because I overcame cancer, or uh, my friend has the H and AIDS, should, do they have to show a card? Well, exactly, that, I know, exactly, yeah. exactly. And now one thing I, and you know, Joy, um, Victoria, I, I honor her, I respect her, and she really, I, I couldn't understand that, but like she said, and I agree, you know, anybody that's running for political office, the medical uh, problems are personal, that yeah, why true. should they have to divulge them? Exactly. You know, exactly. So, so that's saying, well, okay, I had this wrong, I had that wrong, I had my uh, skin, uh, bone off of my head to put up here. Now, do I have to divulge that if I run for well, political office? Well, that's what office? I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you know. It, it, and they don't look for the nice things about people. They want to slam, you know. Exactly. And, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that one of the things I think that may have, I'm not saying it did, but may have hurt, uh, Victoria once away she was slamming um, Joyce. And don't get me wrong, I have a whole lot, a lot of respect for uh, Victoria. Don't get mm -hmm. told. But I, I didn't, it's on Facebook, so when, say, you know, stop slamming her so much. Right, well, you know. Oh, it, yeah, Barry, owe you a dinner. I lost you. You won. <laughs> In any way, right. Joyce Craig won, so I, have, I owe him a dinner. Right. Um, speaking of Joyce Craig winning, I hope everyone can hardly wait to get more of the same, watch Manchester deteriorate as opposed to improve, and I'll tell you what you're gonna get more of. This happened to me just Monday evening, diagonally across the street. My friend Norman, just, are you ready? 87, he looks like he's in his 50s. He still go, it was going to the Y last Friday, right? 87 year old guy, it was his birthday, so I, I, every year, I've known him for, God, 45 years at least. So you're a teenager. Right, right, yeah. exactly, right. <laughs> yeah, just, just gotten out of high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I take them for dinner every year. You know, everybody, I take them for dinner yeah, for their birthday. Like yeah. So I go, he lives in Boston. I go, you know, we can eat, if you want to go there or come up here. He says, oh, he says, I'll come up your way. So we come up here, and this is what you people are in store for. I can't believe people are this gullible and naive uh, uh, to reelect someone that's going to give them this. So t to make a long story short, here's an 87-year-old guy sitting in the passenger seat of my car. We parked diagonally across the street right over here where the post office is. I pull up. I put the car in park. There's a homeless kid with long red hair pants down around his knees, and he comes up to the passenger side, and my friend Norman, visibly shaken, I told him, don't worry. I start to, you know, what the F are you doing, blah, 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 what's going on? And he's just, he's looking in the passenger window like this. And my friend's visibly shaken. He's petrified now. So I keep telling him, I said, get out of here. And he looks and he steps back and what is, he opens the back door of the car and start, starts to get in the car. Puts his, puts his left foot, you know, on, into the car. I said, wait, and then I really let go. I just said, F off, yeah. get the F out of here. I had a pepper spray. I took the pepper spray out finally. He closed the door and walked away. That's what you're going to get more of. Oh, absolutely. So get ready. They, he actually entered your car. Yeah, put yeah. Opened the back door and started to get in. Had his foot on the on the had floor. A gun. I know, man. I know. You know. But my poor friend, he's yeah. petrified, he's, petrified. Yeah. But that that's what you get more up well, here. I, see, more that's what I don't understand. That people need. I guess apparently they like this chaos. I, they must. Well, you know, that's what I mean. I can't believe people are that naive and gullible. But, you know, it's. Look what happened in Virginia, the opposite. Enough. People said enough is enough is enough, even though they had 
the guy had an R after his name. They want, they want, you know, they enjoy their liberties and their freedoms. Thankfully, you know, people realize their freedoms and their, and their liberties are getting taken away, which is happening right here. Right. Now, in Virginia, they had to turn around, right? Yeah. So now it's a Republican state now? Yeah, even the, uh, what, I don't know what they call it, but the House delegate, even right. that went Republican. All right. Hey, by the way, uh, to the Atlanta Braves, they won the World oh, Series. Oh, congratulations. congratulations, yes. I was right, I was right, I and was right. I knew they were going to win, too. I did. Yeah, you and I both said they yeah. would. Yeah, and I would. And congratulations for all the garbage that they've had to go through. I am very proud to say the Atlanta Braves are number one. Right, you and me. Good yeah. for them. Good. Absolutely, absolutely. And the Patriots actually won a game. You know, I, did I watch that game? I did watch I don't that wa I game. Watched it. Some Can, of it, yeah. yeah. My friend Al Caprillion, <laughs> he watches. So I want to make sure that, because he calls me every Sunday. Uh -huh. you know? So I got to make sure I'm catching uh -huh. on some of the sports, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 know? yeah. yeah. That's right, they did In case win. people don't know, Al Caprillion was a very famous meteorologist. I remember him. Yeah. Way. Yep. Very good friend of mine. We'll yes. have to do what all three will have to do a week sometime. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. But uh you know, folks, we've got apparently New Hampshire doesn't wanna change. Oh Manchester doesn't wanna change. Right. I'm scared for the education. They don't care, but you know, the sad part is, is, you know, you got these, and I'll bet you, I want, I, what I'm, my curiosity is, is how many dead people voted yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, I, I said, first thing I thought of, is this real, or is this, you know, another fraud? I'm not accusing, neither one of us, no one's committing court, we're not accusing anybody of fraud. We just, we have, just have a good sense opinion. of humor. We yeah. have a good sense of humor. Right. So, you know, I don't want them to come back saying, we're going to sue you because you're well, accusing me of abuse. Well, you know, come on, people are that naive. Right, you know? exactly. Maybe I will uh, Matt and I used to talk about blow-up dolls. Maybe we had, maybe they felt some, some of the blow-up dolls. Oh, there you go, that's away. right, yeah. <laughs> we mm -hmm. had that going one time, and people really get upset over that. They even called the mayor's office. and So I called the mayor's office and said, we won't talk about it anymore, you know. And she said, thank you, but there was nothing they could have done because we did not say anything bad right. about it, you know. And plus, there is a need for blow-up dolls. So. I guess, <laughs> there's a need for everything, you know. But, you know, and also, the rents are going to go sky high. They might have won uh, Victoria. I don't know. I would hate to think that Victoria was all talk and no action, but I want to believe she was all action. Yeah. You know. Right. But don't you, give up, Victoria. Keep on trying. Get out there. You got close. You can do it. Yeah. Um, the other thing, too, with this, this ridiculous, you know, 90 trillion zillion, zillion dollar spending bill that the Democrats want to, uh, put on everybody's back f for the tune of like a million dollars each. You know, how much housing is included in that? The, every time the government, whatever the government gets involved with, let's face it, it, go, every, it just goes out of control. That's why rents are so high now. What do they do? S Section 8. And you got all these, what do the illegals get when they get here? Section 8. I got to work my butt off to pay my rent. Right, me too. They, they break the law to get here. And they get rewarded. Yeah, we, they yeah. have to stop rewarding right. bad behavior. Yeah. And, and you know, the sad part is, I know a lot of illegals, and every one of them, I, I got to give these guys credit. They don't expect anything from the government. Right, I know. They, uh, yeah. Right, I know. And they work every day. So uh, I say my compliments few, to them. Exactly, you know, they work. Because there's a lot of people that are uh, citizens that are lazy, yeah. want to sponge out the government. That right. you and I have to work. Yeah. With, you know? And what I don't understand when the. Uh, we're getting, I guess we're getting a raise in January. You know. Imagine 5.9%. Yeah. Do you but, believe you know, that that's gone? Yeah, our insurance is going to go up, too. It already, well, Pat B already went up, what, 10 bucks or something, yeah, or yeah, 12 bucks. Have, so yeah. there's, there's yeah. a chunk of it so going already. So what's the sense of getting a pay raise? If it, right. When that Gasoline people, went yeah. up. There's another chunk of it. Food's gone up. Bye-bye raise. I went out, and I was going to, I always buy the big containers of uh, cooking oil. And I always pay five ninety nine or six ninety nine, eight to nine dollars for the Imagine. same brand, the same thing. Yeah. 
meat. I went and took a look at the meat. Oh, forget the, you know. I don't, and I don't think it's any cheaper becoming a vegetarian. It isn't because the, veg, the vegetables are just as expensive. I bet it's ridiculous. Yeah, you know, and uh, but this is what people want, you know. Apparently, well, you know, we won't tell everybody exactly what happened last election, but people voted for this, and I think they're regretting it. They're regretting oh, it now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, some of my friends who are, oh, well, I can't talk to you because you're, you know, you're a Trump fan or whatever. Two of them come and said, oh, you, you an apology. I go, why is that? Well, we see what you mean, though. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to, you exactly. know, I love America. And Maybe me. there are some things that, you know, and I'm not saying all the politicians are bad, but I don't care what, whether you're a Republican, I don't care whether you're a Democrat, I don't care. There's always a little velocity in each and every one of them. Right. Well, maybe this is a good time yeah, what are, for me. Yeah, why don't you read that? Read this yeah. article. This is in the London Derby Times, where I live, all right? This is a letter to the editor. I might as well, I'll just read the yeah, whole read thing. Yeah, read the whole thing. All right. We got and, plenty of time. Right. So uh, get this, because this is how these politicians bamboozle you, hoodwink you, fool you. Throw the bag over your head so you don't know what's going on. Just check out this letter. To the editor, recently uh, it was reported that, in quotes, the Hassan campaign said its third quarter contributions came from more than 215 cities and towns in New Hampshire, showing the strength of Senator Hassan's grassroots support in the Granite State. The campaign said 95% of the contributions were $100 or less. Early and record-breaking support is helping us build a campaign that is talking to voters in every community about Senator Hassan's record of solving problems for New Hampshire, said campaign manager Aaron Jacobs. How nice of the Hassan... Has, excuse me, Hassan, Hassan campaign to tell us a totally unbalanced story that has no purpose other than to treat the voters of New Hampshire like fools. Check this out. Pay attention. Want to repeat that again? Like what? Right, like fools. The, the Hassan campaign, and that, because check this out. Pay attention, as Judge Duty would say, put on your listening ears. Since the Federal Election Commission has the total donations to September 30th registered, but not yet broken down online, let's look at the first half of the year. The Hassan campaign is reportedly to have collected $6,168,441.36 during the first two quarters. January 1, 2021 to January 30th, 2021. It's an impressive amount. What the Hassan campaign neglected to tell us, everybody in New Hampshire, pay attention, was that $5,729,553.89 in parentheses 92.88% of that was from outside New Hampshire. 93% outside of New Hampshire. They forgot to mention the dozens of $1,000 and $2,000, $2,900 donations from 1,487 Californians and 1,120 New Yorkers many of whom list themselves as self-employed or, I love it, not employed. Hmm. Of course, these are only two of the 49 other states, in addition to people on, in Guam and in foreign countries who donated uh, to Hassan. If you really think Hassan is going to vote, for and support the 7.12% of her donors from New Hampshire instead of the 92.88% of the non-New Hampshire donors, you might want to think again, and I think they got a good point there. 
I hope the voters of New Hampshire will see Senator Hassan for what she is, a representative of the Democrat Party that is hell-bent for establishing a socialist government in the U.S. They will give billions of dollars worth of free gifts to citizens and to illegal non-citizens, demanding in return that they obey the dictates of non-compromising politicians and bureaucrats, and that's just what people are doing. Right. That was, is the policy of Cuba, Nicaragua, the Union of Soviet Socialist <gasps> Republics. Wait a minute, continue on page eight, give me a second here. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, and the other former Warsaw Pact countries. See what that got them. So again, take it all into consideration there, and you might really want to do more investigating yourself next time it comes to voting as opposed to just voting for the letter that's after someone's name. Well, you know, huh? I can remember when she first started that she used to use, her, she has a son that's handicapped, mm -hmm. a mentally challenged and mentally handicapped, mm -hmm. and she used to use that as a ploy to help her win. Oh yeah, tug at the heartstrings, of yeah. course. And she always yep. said that one of the reasons why she ran for senator was because of the medical benefits. Jeffrey, <laughs> I look at her. Yeah. yeah. Her yeah. husband was a director of the uh, Phillips Academy in Exeter. I and didn't he have a, I heard, I don't know yeah, if it's true. Big, this is yeah. when I was living in Mass. He yeah. had accusations of uh, uh, abuse that yeah. really got Sexual hush abuse. hush. Yeah. Oh, and, he, and he said he didn't know. He oh, was yeah. a direct, you can't I know, he didn't know, on, exactly. You know, and, uh, you know, so it's almost like the worst criminal you are, the better chance you have to get elected. Right, exactly. And then once you get in there, look at what you go to bed with. Yeah. These real yeah, uh, yeah. anti-Americans, anti-constitutionalists, anti-freedom, anti-liberty, anti-gun. Yeah, you know. If the people that are elected in our state today, you know, one of Chris Pappas and Annie Custer, she and then Hassan, or Hassan, you know, they're all against our freedom. They are. They really are. Except, I'll tell you, last week I was shocked with Chris Pappas. He came out about that part of the spending bill that was going to, billions and billions of dollars for something like 85,000 more IRS agents. Imagine what the $600, I mean, come on. Yeah, they want you to account for And in the meantime, <laughs> these politicians... Right? What's his name? Blumenthal. I just read this the other yeah. day. Last year when he started, we'll say, I think in 20, no, 2019, it's 2019, this is a senator from Connecticut, the liar, who yeah. said he's a Vietnam vet, was, doesn't even yeah. know what Vietnam is. He was, well, I, you know, these are numbers just coming off, but I don't know, I don't know if they're correct, but this is, in 2019, well, it was worth something like $12 million. In 2020, it was up to like 19 million. He's a senator, and they get what 190 thousand a yeah. year or whatever. Where the what I want to know is where the six million come from. We know lobbyists, right? Ex exactly, lobbyists. And you know, lobbyists pay. A, there was a movie with Eddie Murphy in it. I think it was and uh, uh, Sylvia Hall or something like that. I can't remember that one. And what he played in Congressman uh -huh. and how he trapped these am, people. And if you ever had a chance, it reminds me of what is going on today. Yeah. Well, you wash my hand with a few hundred dollars. Exactly. Or, you know, I'll wash your hand. And you know, and the sad part is, it's in every state, every country, and even every city. Right, it is. Well, it's just like, what's his name? Garland or whoever he is. Yeah. What is it? It's him or the other guy. His name begins with an M, but with the CIT. The son-in-law is, is the one that's making all the money from pushing the CIT all over the yeah. country. And, yeah. You know, and these, I can't believe Americans, this, they can't be bothered with fighting for their country. Well, they I think sit back and go, that. oh, well. Oh, well. Well, I think that yesterday's voting was a good one. Well, it certainly Well, I think a lot of them... They won't vote either because of the fraud that went on in the previous election when uh, Biden came out a winner, 
And I think people are saying, why should, or the right in, why should we do this? Why should we do that? And this is just what well, you Democrats can't blame them. I mean, you know, when Trump was winning what? Well, st again, yeah. th they're close, but yeah. these are numbers just are coming off my head. Yeah. He was winning Pennsylvania by 600,000 votes. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, oh, we're not going to continue counting until the morning. The next thing you know, what? 640,000 votes. Not Magically one for Trump. They find them. They find all these ballots. 640,000. Not one vote. Not one vote in there for Trump. Every single one for Biden. So you can't blame them. No. You know, no, I, I don't blame the people for not voting. I really don't. Well, I, I get on everyone to vote. But I mean, and, if they're afraid to, me. because they're at the point where they're afraid to vote. Because they, they're at the point where our, our votes don't matter. No, can't. That's you know? right. Exactly. The absentee ballots, you know. Um, they, yes, they used to be when a, somebody would come in, with a, like the fire department would bring, had some people appointed. Yeah. That have a box, box, and they put mm -hmm. the, uh, the ballot right. into yeah. them. I don't know. I'm not sure if they do that today. If somebody's listening, they can tell if right. they mail them in. Because I don't trust the mail in. Well, I don't either. I mean, you know, you mail it in. And it was just like in California, what do they do? The way they put a hole in an envelope. So if it was a, a Democrat right. yeah. uh, a vote, they saw a D there. So what are the ones that didn't have the hole by the D? Oops. Yeah. Oops. Trash it. Yeah. And I wonder if they do it here. Do they? And my thing is, and I'm not accusing anybody. I want people to know this. And just that these are questions that a lot of people are asking. Are they counting the absentee ballots? Well, exactly. You know? I know. Yeah. Well, here's a good thing in um, New Jersey. The, uh, even there, it's, it is a tight race, but what is the Democrat guy saying? Well, there's 800,000. I love it. All of a sudden, 800,000 mail-in ballots that they didn't count. Oh, they just... Oh, we forgot about these yeah, ballots. Isn't that convenient? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, and, uh, we had out of the uh, population in Manchester, I think a hundred and something thousand, maybe ninety to hundred and twenty. I just asked Alexa yeah. this morning, a hundred and sixteen thousand. Yeah, and only ten thousand <laughs> people voted. Imagine. Yeah. What does that say? You know. Exactly. Well, yeah. that's why. Get ready for what they're going to get. They're, they're going to. You know, I I, t I made a comment on Facebook, and I find it interesting, Dave, that when you make a comment, and, you know, like against the, the Democrats, nobody comments you back. You no, know? no, I know. Yeah. Because I said, remember, today is a voting day. Express how you vote. You know, if you're a legal American, go and vote. That's right. Yeah. You know, if you're, you know, and. Uh, the, and depending on on the part of the country, if right. you're a dead person, go and yeah, vote. Yeah. <laughs> well, I found my great my great grandfather name and my father's name and uh, <laughs> my grandmother's name on a ballot in Enfield, New Hampshire. Wow! <laughs> like five years yeah. ago. I don't know why. Somebody sent me a letter on that. That's I'm funny, looking yeah. it all over. Because where my father and mother and they were all buried in this one area, you know, and I'm looking. So I went to the. Enfield City Hall, and I said, uh, how can these people vote? Well, they came in, and I said, well, that's obvious, because I'm their grandson. Right, I know. You know, their face turns red. You know, and, and there's no more, remember, honest Abe, you right. know, and there's no more, you know, like John F. Kennedy, like, because he was doing good for the country. Look what happened to him. Robert mm -hmm. Kennedy was going to spill the beans. Look what happened to him. That's right. I mean, Kennedy. Speaking of that, and what's his name? Didn't he get parole? Sirhan, Sirhan. Oh, did he get out? I on think, parole? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine the yeah. parole. Yeah. We're killing a president, that's okay. Right, and the guy well, that Biden killed John Lennon, yeah. that's another story. Fry him. Yeah. But he <laughs> right. got, but no, they, they won't let him out, though. Who? The one that killed John Lennon? Oh, no, I think he's yeah. getting out. Yes. Oh, is he getting <laughs> yes. out, too? Yes. So you can commit a crime, a major white collar crime, or defraud the country, and you're going to get a clap and an applaud, and you're going right, to get yeah. elected. Exactly. Okay. But someone that makes a mistake and goes to prison, and yet he'll admit that he did or whatever, they're going to chantize him. Right. Know? Yeah. Exactly. You know, and you know, they get my understanding is like they have a better law library in the prison than they do on the outside, and they get it for free. 
It's unbelievable. You know, I'm not saying they should, and I believe that every person that's been in prison has the right, and, and hopefully will reform, you know, follow the right narrow, so to speak, whether it's a um, minor lawbreaker or whatever. Give them, I, I am a firm believer in giving them a second chance. Everybody deserves a chance. Yeah. Everybody deserves, yeah. everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. Well, I'm perfect, so. aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm perfect at making mistakes. I knew that, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to say it because, you know. Well, I'm perfect at making mistakes. We'll put it that right, way. Right, yeah. You know? And, you know, and if this is what, you know, I believe in the same body all we want. You know, I also was upset a lot when some of the things that Richard Gerard spoke about, you know, and this and this, and I don't believe he helped the Republican Party at all. He found a lot of things wrong with what Victoria was doing. Do I think that Victoria hurt herself a lot? Yeah. And I told her, you cannot keep showing the chaos that uh, Joyce Craig is doing. We know what she's doing. Tell us right. how we can fix the problem. Exactly. Improve the situation. Yeah. That's what now I make say. make it worse. Never mind vote for change. I kept saying vote for improvement. Right. Big difference. To, now in I'm in I, owe some, I owe my friend Bill Barry a dinner, because, but that's okay. But, you know, folks, follow your own heart. Don't follow the party. Follow what really? you think is right. You know, and that's like what I don't like when they go to primaries. You either have to be a Republican or a Democrat. You cannot be an independent. I won't say, I won't give Glenn um, Alderman credit. Uh, I mean, Glenn all that because he was running for an office and he had that he was an independent. Uh -huh. So they made him either go Republican or Democrat. You're kidding. No, you cannot. If you're an, if you are going to a primary, you cannot vote independently. You have to either How vote come? Republican or Republican. That's the way it is in New Hampshire. I don't wow, agree with that. I don't agree with that. You know? And then you can change back into it being an independent. So, we, no, no, wait. So, you mean to be on a ticket or just to vote? No, to vote. See, like, uh, like when there was uh, Gerard against uh, Victoria Sullivan and they had yeah. Craig against her. You have to, if you want to vote, you have yeah. to either be a Republican or a Democrat. You cannot vote as an independent. Yeah, but isn't that just like in the Democratic primary or the Republican primary, isn't that? No, well, that's what it is. It's both the same. But if you either do the Republican or the Democrat on the same day, uh, yeah. but you can't say, well, I'm an independent and I want to vote independent. Oh, wow. See, in mass you can, because yeah. I was always independent, and I would, you know, when yeah. you're going to vote, what ballot do you want? They just, yeah. you'd tell them, Democrat or Republican, yeah. and that's what they give you. Yeah. See, oh, I think, wow. that, and I don't see, and if you choose not to change for either party, then you can't vote. And I think wow. that's, that actually takes away from your right to vote. Exactly. That's right. See that? But you don't see people up in arms about that, do you? Oh, I made that stick when they told me I couldn't wear my red hat to go vote. I don't blame now you. Now I can like wear it. As long as it's not a presidential thing, I can wear that red oh, hat. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. But yet the Democrats wore, um, what's his name? You said it wore the Biden right, mask. Right, Biden, Biden mask, yeah. But the mask say this that. mask is as useless as Biden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw a, I when I was at the Hitchcock Clinic, I saw a lady wearing a mask. And she said, I got my shot today. I go, was it by a 22 or? or oh, she, yeah. <laughs> she didn't appreciate yeah. it, you know. Speaking, I got to tell you this, speaking of, you know how they, you got to get a booster now? Yeah. One of my neighbors got the booster a little over two weeks ago. For two weeks, I have a stomach ache, I have a stomach ache. Then she started puking, not a lot, but puking blood, right? I have, And I have a stomach ache, I have a stomach ache, I don't know what it is, I just feel right. And what is it? I, She ended up... They, the ambulance taking her yesterday to the hospital. Yeah. And it was the funniest thing. Just yesterday morning, I'm reading side effects from people getting the booster shots, upset stomach for all this time, and and you know. And now they cut. want to uh, now for five to and up they can get shots to the kids. Ridiculous. The FDA just approved of it, you know. So you know, I mean, it's your choice, folks. Right. I choose not to. And, you, and the thing that bothers me is that 
a lot of places they're not going to let you go unless you have a card saying they got the vaccine. That's ridiculous. I know for healthcare that that's where there should be the mandate that they have to let they have to treat you regardless. Right. I couldn't believe when she told me that that happened. Yeah. And they had well they had put a few articles on Facebook. I don't always believe everything that's on Facebook. Trust me, you don't want to. Right. Okay. But when they when when they refuse to take care of a patient, yes, because they didn't have the shot, exactly. and once the patient dies, you know, right, exactly, yeah. that's right. And is the doctor accountable? Of course not. Or if a person that had a lot of the people that had the shots, if they an older person, well, he must have had something else wrong with him. It couldn't have been from the shot. Right, exactly. You know, exactly. And this is what I don't understand. You know. And they keep, kept, and they keep wanting to give four, five, six different type of. It's a money maker. That's all it is, and especially you know they got. Well, I don't need to mention his name. The guy in Washington. Yeah. The senile yeah. guy. Right. They. He's the one promoting them all. How much of a kickback is he getting for all these? Especially well, with the mandates. Harris's uh, husband. It's a lead attorney for the pharmaceutical companies. There you go. See? Okay. So you know. And then, well, as you know, I took a picture of a friend of mine That's who had right. that I... shot. And that was there, okay? And I took yeah. a kid. And uh, another person said, well, I put a whole dinner place set on there. <laughs> I like, believe yeah, it. Yeah, you know. Well, he went there. But I told you, a guy yeah. showed me it. He yeah. had it. A piece of metal and stuck I, to yeah. his arm after yeah. he got the shot, and then he said, "Look, my daughter's the one who showed me, so I did it." Yeah. And I felt that you could feel the bunch there. Really? And I yeah. felt it. Yeah, like it was, you know. And uh, but it's your choice, right? And if you put a black light there, it glows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's your choice, people. Yeah. I had a client that won't talk to me on the phone. Who <laughs> won't come near me because I didn't have the shots. And I said, "That's fine." Yeah. I said. And this is, I'm not going to force you to come to my. If right. you I, when they come to my office, I will wear a mask, out of, yeah, right. out of respect, yeah. okay, and I respect for what they ever want to do, okay, but I don't want to have to be forced to take a shot. Yeah. Look at where in New York are all those nurses that have got fired and. and uh, then uh, Elliot's doing it now. CMC. What a disgrace! So all these. Nurses and all these other people working on the front line before there was a vaccine, yeah. that was all well and fine. But yeah. now that they won't be forced to doing something they don't want to hit the road. Yeah, isn't that uh, weird? Isn't uh. that ridiculous? Once again, we would have had another friend of mine on. We were going to be talking about bipolar and the uh, paranormal, you name it, like we're doing now. But, Unfortunately, Pam and them were in a car accident. I'm just yeah. grateful that nobody was hurt. Exactly. See, there again, right. I, yep. I, that, that, for some reason, the spirit didn't want them here. Exactly. That's because they want us to enlighten people, people about, about, you know, what to look see. deeper into this is, oh, this is Dave's opinion and my opinion only. Only. That's only, right. Okay. And you can feel free to call in, disagree with us. And, right. You know. But, but it's our opinion only, but. Just keep in mind, very valid opinions. <laughs> right, you know. And, you know, and this is, so you, eventually, you know, like, if you say stuff like this on Facebook, you're going to get kicked off. Oh, I know. I know you I've are. I've been kicked off 10 days. Misinformation. Misinformation. Yeah. Oh, Everything. yeah. If yeah, you don't go right they don't leave it or whatever. And isn't, I wonder where these people, the, the facts finders are. The fact checkers? Checkers. What country are they from? I don't know. Or are they really even fact checkers? Yeah, you know one of the things that I I'm able, and I've said this for years, Dave, and I truly believe there's a small country outside of Russia that there's a big control room when the computer says that one button in that control room can destroy or maybe three can destroy in this country. And I'm a firm believer, and I'm seeing it more apparent now, more and more, you know, mm -hmm. as man-made hurricanes, man-made this. But, but you know what? They're not man-made. I don't care what anybody says. That's like, right. oh. I think that climate change is a joke. I'm glad you brought that up. What is it? The climate change, something. Here they are talking about climate change and emissions. And we're doing this. And I, I loved it. 400 private jets. Yeah. 
but we can't drive a car five miles to go to work. No. And look at, you know, you're not got Mother Nature or, or the universal spirit, however you want to call it, they control this weather. They control it. Mm -hmm. And if they want to have a hurricane in Haiti, or if they want to have a hurricane in Louisiana, or whatever, you know, it's going to happen. You can invest all these millions and billions of dollars all you want, but you don't want to, it's not going to change what money they It's not going to change do. one thing, exactly right. And this is what, get, what are the, you know, it cracks me up. What do you, what do you, the government tell you all the time? Change is good, change is fantastic, we need change, but when it comes to the climate, uh oh, climate change. I don't understand uh -oh. the climate change. Do you at all? I really don't. I don't understand no. what all this is all about. What is the, why are they poured all this money into it? Because, because it's these few, the, these few elitists. They're all reaping the benefits yeah, from it. Plus, it. it's it's all got to do with. I've been following this for years. My sister's really into this, but it may. It's all you know the trilateral commission, one got for the whole world. One government. One monetary system and one religion. Oh yeah, and well, that's just what they're trying to do. But it will never happen because people don't read the Bible. When when I was, uh, I can remember being in school, and they would say that the currency will be all of one funding. Right, but like, it won't. and it won't, and also, well, man-made Bible. The Bible changed so many times to fit right. everybody's needs. You know and I know. But you're still, gonna... some things stay, you know, I'm not really good on quoting the Bible, but no. if you, it, it's in the Bible that one, like one religion for the whole world, it will never happen. No. And that's why also God gave everybody different tongues to speak in. Right. And freedom of, and freedom of you know, and uh, Plus like, God I, gave I us enjoy free will. We all right. have God, that's your God given right is free will. I wish people would use this. Uh, I enjoy practicing a lot of the Buddha. Do you? Yeah, mm -hmm. I really do. I've been a Catholic. I can remember when I was getting confirmed as a Catholic. You and know, I can too. And how they slap your face and they want you to kiss the ring. I refuse to do all that. Oh, I'm not man. kissing the Pope's ring. You think of all these people that are kissing all that? Yeah, now? but just... And I was hung over, so... <laughs> ah, see, I did it when I was a kid, but, yeah. you know, what, I look at it different, right? But you, you like, like, that's what people say. Oh, you're kissing the Pope's ring, yeah. but... I mean, the bishop's ring, yeah. right? Yeah. You're kissing the bishop's ring, but... You got to, you know, you spin it around a little. The, all this, all that positive energy in that ring, so you just... Just touch it. And ought to be with the money it cost. Right, exactly. Right. So just from that brief yeah. interaction with it, you get a ton of positive energy. And, and the thing is, everybody, ha you know, that's what I like about They don't have, you know, I don't have to agree with what they do in their religion. You don't have to agree with m what I do in my exactly. religion. Exactly, that's right. And I, I, I'm scared of the fact that, that people are going to try to take it away from them. Freedom of religion and freedom of speech. Well, they, you know they who's trying that. to do that. Oh, yeah. You know, and as long as the Biden followers are going to be sheep, right? Well, Biden is the biggest sheep of all. He's a bit, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing, and yeah, actually, but Clinton and uh, Obama and uh, leader in China, they're all the. Do you see where uh, was it? Bill Gates has uh, had a wedding for his daughter, and not one of them were wearing a mask. Oh, that right, yeah. No, uh, it's, no I take that back. The black servants were wearing masks. That's right. Isn't that discrimination? Well, it really is, and it was just like, what was it? The Emmys or something yeah. out in L.A. None of the celebrities had masks on, the Hyatt Health yeah. masks. I mean, yeah. no. And, uh, you know, Isn't that, people me, get that's treated the meaning, like... That's the meaning that the, the, the Hyatt Health, the health, the employees, that's not encouraging. If they are forced to wear a mask, and yet because you're a superstar or right, you're a millionaire, know. you right. know, it, that's not fair. Exactly. I agree. How, how is that respectful to the other people, you know? That's right. Oh, my, I want to congratulate my son starts a job. Next Monday. Congratulations. Yeah. Good oh, for you. So he got well. He he had the virus. You were telling me. I know. Yeah. I knew he was going to get the job. Yeah. <laughs> but he feels a lot better now. And I, he Good. He feel better, you know. And, oh, no. you know, 
my feeling, I love it when I see these people, have, oh, I had my booster shots, I had my two, what, two, three shots of my booster shot, and, but yet I'm still wearing a mask. I know, and look shot. at me, I don't have no shots, nope. and I don't wear the mask or nothing, and I'm as in good as... I think I'm in very good shape. Yeah, well, that's what I was just going to yeah. say, I know, I'm in as good shape as them, yeah. and like I keep telling everyone, you can vouch for me, it's, again, it's my opinion, but... To me, it's kind of got a lot of truth to it. If God wants you to get COVID, I don't know how to tell this to you, but if God wants you to get COVID, you're getting COVID. Because you're allowing it to happen. <laughs> but you will again. Yeah. And at like the other day, I felt really bad. I had a cough and all that stuff. And I had like a flu. Oh, you, you must have COVID. Oh, no, oh, I know. COVID, have, COVID, COVID. Oh, yeah, you must have COVID and all that stuff, you know. And I go, no, because I had just got checked from my own doctor. Yeah. And they did the test. No, no, you, you know. Well, that was, I told you, a couple of weeks. I get allergies. I've had allergies since I was like 10 years old. So 10, 20 yeah. years now. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, about but, 15 maybe. Yeah. So I told you a couple of weeks ago, I got a little runny, not even really runny, but, you yeah. know, enough to know that it's, and you know, sniffles. just yeah. to feel, yeah, you could just feel it. So I, you know, I go home, and one of my neighbors, the first thing she says is, did you get the COVID test? I said, for what? She says, that's, I remember she said, that's a symptom. I said, her name is Dottie. I go, Dottie, I've had allergies since I was like 10 years old. Yeah. I get this every year. It ain't COVID, yeah. unless I've had COVID all these years. Yeah, my son has yeah. asthma. Uh -huh. And when the air, the way it's been polluted, he gets it very easily. Yeah. But we found the one thing that really works, I don't know if we're supposed to promote it up, but I'm going to, and if you feel like you've got the sniffles or your ads, where, take some um, Alka-Seltzer Plus. Oh, really? Yeah. See that? Yep. Okay. And it doesn't have that yucky taste to it, and there's no alcohol right. in it, so I can use it, you know. But Scott will tell you it works pretty well, doesn't it, Scott? Not you know? bad. See, now, if that was on Facebook, they'd say, oh, they'd, they wouldn't show your post, and they'd send you a, a message saying, not the whole thing, but some information in your post was oh, misinformation. Yeah. Not they will never accuse you of the whole oh, thing. Oh no, no, you had oh, some I get misinformation that, yeah. in you, right? And I know, and they, they take blank them it off. out, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, I might uh, like, uh, well, and they never tell you what the misinformation is. No, no. <laughs> I think that's funny when they. That's like yeah. they talked about this man who was going into the little girls' room and raping the women in there, dressed like a woman or yeah. whatever. And I said, well, they should hang the blankety blank. Right. And they, they, they downloaded it and they said that was misinformation that was not according to our agenda. Right, so right. I, yeah. their agenda, yeah. exactly. So I said that right. they're okay with them, uh, a man going to get raping the young girls. Uh, yeah, I know. I went there for five days because I, I called that guy at AS. Right, well, yeah. they are. So, in other words, that if we want to, like, uh, we should, oh, applaud them for raping a young girl. Well, in know. California, I believe, that it passed. Uh, well, that pedophile is legal. If the child says yes, it's legal. Come on. Yep. And then I also see where... Come here, uh, little kid. You want some candy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. And then I see where if a, tru a truck driver has a, a pickup, they make it a living, the truck is... Not, uh, over 2011, they will not let them go on the highway in California. Cut it out. Yep. Plus, they ban uh, uh, gas-powered lawnmowers. Do yeah. you believe it? Well, they want everything to do an electrical. How much money is that going to cost to put all these electrical plug-ins for different areas? Like, we, you have an electrical car, where are you going to plug it in? Right, but you know, it's the... the Elected politicians in California yeah. already got stock in the companies that are going to of build course. them. Of course, too, I'm sure, you know. And w where the hell do they think the, electri the electricity is coming from? Exa I know, exactly. But, you know, the other thing is now, you know, they, they if you notice, they paint, they're starting to paint highways different. They got all those dashed lines, right. the little dash. At the exits, you know what that's for? For these Tesla, the, what do they call it? Uh, Automatic driving, yeah. but oh, they, yeah. there's yeah. another word yeah. for it that yeah. I can't think of. But that's what it's for. So we're paying for that already. It's for people that can afford $80,000 and up for a car, 
we have to pay f to paint the lines on the road, not right. for yeah. them. Well, you look out here, they got these computerized robots that are running around. They're going to work in to take the place of policemen. What, they got them here? Yeah, they got a guy. There's a, uh, uh, there's a, uh, a lab that makes the computerized machines that walk up and down the Elm Street pushing a button. You're kidding. Nope. The robot. Wow. Well, I yeah. know, um, what is it, Stop and Shop? I don't see them up here, but in Mass, they have the robots that go sanitize everything. You ever, and you, you're walking down the thing, and it must have a sensor because it stops, or it'll go a little bit, or, and it sprays everything. It's just, it's like, That's like in uh, nursing homes now. I've gone, and in a lot of hospitals, they have a computer-controlled medicine cart that takes you to the room. Cut it out. Yeah, pretty soon I'll oh, have, have some of these. Oh, yeah. give me something off that show. Yeah, I want something that's <laughs> going to make me feel good, right? You know. And the one thing that, and I, I think Tori did agree with is that they have these one arm bandits now that pick up the garbage where they go out and they push your button and come to pick stuff. Oh, right, yutch. Yeah. yeah. But don't tell you what a mess they leave and how they don't pick it up. Some of them. Well, I don't, I think that's got to do with the way they're trained because I've lived in several communities with them. And it is some places, or it depends on the contractor who's doing it. I've lived in some places that it is. They dump the barrel and a third of it goes yeah. in front of your house, and then there's other ones that actually yeah. do a good job. Yeah. But, but then the thing that kills me is the fact that they're spending all this money for these one-armed bandits. Right, yeah. Okay, and look how many men and women that will be without a job. That's right. Well, they're going to... Maggie Hassan's going to give them work, Bill, which is so deceitful and so disingenuous. All these, uh, did you ever see it? High power, high paying energy jobs. And what does it show? It shows like, you know, the, the solar panels. You think they're going to make them here? They're made in China. Yeah. Well, yeah, and they had a picture of Shaheen, Senator Shaheen. Uh, and two other people in one of those computer plants, more than nine plants. And they were all wearing masks, but yet they had their shots. <laughs> Talk about something being hypocritical, you know. Uh, so I keep saying, I keep saying it more and more, they're well programmed. Right, you know. That's like I out of when I go on the bus, I don't have to, but the bus driver wears a mask, and out of respect, I wear the mask. Uh -huh. I don't have to, but I do right. because I, I want to respect her. And I love the Manchester bus drivers. They're pretty cool people. Yeah. You know. And every once in a while, I like taking the bus. It's fun. Right. You know? I told you last year when I went to San Francisco to visit yeah. my uncle on the subway. But, but it was naturally, it was a requirement. You yeah. had to wear a mask. But it was, you know me, I'm not wearing a mask. When I take would take the subway... I never wore a mask. Not once did not once did anybody say anything to me. Not even half of them probably weren't wearing them either. There were other people that weren't. More, I'm going to say ninety out there. They were all well programmed. Ninety five percent of them were. Mm. Not one person ever said anything to me, including the the people that worked on bus. The only thing for the bus or the trolley, you had to wear a mask because otherwise they wouldn't let you on. Yeah. But. But you, that's subway, one killer. And, now, yeah. and, and then you, you go to the hospitals and nurses have to wear a mask. Ridiculous. And I think they're inhaling all the toxic poisoning that they're, you know, that they're wearing, yeah. you know. You know, th th I think, you know, if you want to wear a mask, that's all well and fine, but I don't think it should be a requirement because it's just like, you know, the people that want to wear a mask, obviously they're insecure, they're living in fear, and if they think that's going to protect them, I want them fine. Wear your mask, even though we know they're useless. Yeah. If that's going to make you feel better, fine. Wear your mask. In the meantime, why should somebody like me, who's confident in, you know, in in the way I feel, and I'm, you know, like I'm a pretty lucky guy health-wise. And hey, if my luck runs out, it does. But in the meantime, you know, I feel perfectly fine without wearing a mask. So why? Mm. Because. You don't feel fine without me wearing the mask. Why should I have to wear one? You got one on. Well, that's like when I go. I, I've got to get back in the walk, and I've been really lazy I about. More, I'm waiting. I, I know. know I got time now. I but quit I, that yeah, job. Everybody, yeah, I quit I, my I, bartending yeah, job. Yeah, I get lazy, and plus, there for a while, I was wicked paranoid for the guy that worked, lived yep. up over me, and screaming at me and yelling at me. 
The one thing about me and the spirituals like you and I, we're really sensitive. We, and how? And I, I really yep. take it to heart. And, I mean, and me. I'm afraid you? to go out, you know. And I know it's psychological and I can't allow this guy to win. Right. But And then the other day I went out for a walk. I literally, I was in so much pain from here and breathing. I literally had to hurry home. Thank uh -huh. goodness Scott was there. He fixed me. He, he babies me. You well, know? good to see. Lucky you. Know? you. Yeah. Lucky and, uh, you. Good job, Scott. One, one time I alka-seltzer in my and some Advil so the because the pain was so excruciating. Yeah. You know. And I never realized that I've had pain in this shoulder ever since. Wow. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they say it's arthritis now. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, it, it, it hurts. When it hurts it, when I go for a walk and also and I know a lot of it's because I gain weight and a lot of like that will do it too. Oh yeah, so I got to get back to plus those chocolate bonbons don't help matters. That's true. Yeah. They don't. They don't. <laughs> I've already been doing that in a week since I quit my job. Yeah. When I went, uh, Tammy and I, my daughter-in-law and I went grocery shopping, and they had these three bags of candy for ten dollars. I Ooh. had two. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <coughs> I had two of my shopping cart. Mm-hmm. And I could I was gonna buy one for Tammy, mm. but I was gonna buy two for me. Right like there, that, that would be. But me. I am so <laughs> proud of myself. I put them back. Oh, oh once that they're in a, the car, I, being a diabetic, I, I, you know. Oh, oh, that's you know, right. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I don't then, have that issue. You know, and I. Uh -huh. My problem is I gotta stop eating potato chips. Yeah, that's not good. Ruffles but, have ridges. And they're open for the dip to put on them, you know. Right. Yeah. Very rare I buy potatoes. But, you know, this, you can laugh all you want. And people yeah. are saying, he's soft. You know what I buy? Dates. I'm dead serious. And I have about anywhere between four and six. You just take a little bite at a time. They're naturally sweet. What they're do you get? Dates. Pitted dates. Oh, I don't like dates. Oh, but they're... I know Excellent. they're good for your bowels. Uh, right, yeah, because they're far Or this is what else I buy. Free, I like these too. And you can try this, freeze-dried apricots. Yeah, I have all over that. I think it's just uh, the yeah, idea of doing right. it. You just like the junk stuff. That's yes, I is. sure do. And I got to get away from that. You just want the junk just, stuff. I yeah, know. I got to start doing that, you know. See? That's yeah. what I say. I convinced so myself, okay, what else have I got? You know, well, I convinced myself, and then all of a sudden, you know, and then Scott is such a good cook that I have to cut back on the portion he serves me. Wow. Yeah, you know. You mean he's over serving? Oh, yeah, Are of course. Me, I helping? eat it up. Yeah, no, I don't serve myself. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, and he puts everything on separate plates. Of course. You know, I, don't know, I haven't served myself, and I don't know when. You wow, know. lucky you. Yeah, lucky no, I, I'm you. very spoiled. And poor me, I've been living <laughs> by myself now for, oh God, over 20 years, yeah. imagine. But, yeah. well, I have to take that back. I've always had a little four legged buddy. Yeah, yeah, me. I got, well, Mr. Shadow comes up. Oh, that's up right, nice. you got two now. Yeah, Mr. Shadow comes up, likes to lie down on the couch with me now. Oh, and we have Big Boy who sleeps in the office, you know. So but we, the, the place is really big boys, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, Mr. Shadow still thinks it's his, so we oh, have to. Yeah. And I really believe that once he gets neutered, he'll be okay. You know, oh, yeah. They'll, he'll take be, that he'll wildness be out. out. Yeah, it will. And, yeah. uh, see, well, you know, this is what I know. Animals are not wild. People are. Exactly. You know, even though, well, I don't know if, if I'd want to walk up to a bear or if I seen a bear in the woods and say, no. yeah. and, you know, and examine well, them and yeah. try to talk to them. Like, you know, I do it all. Maybe I am soft. I'll take a walk on the rail trail or something and there's squirrels and chipmunks. I talk to them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do, do too. I, I talk, talk to, to the birds. Yeah, absolutely, and, and and you know, I, I talk to all. The, I, I talk to the trees. I do that too. I'm a tree hugger. Oh, I, I hug trees. I do. Yeah. I cry when I actually see a tree being cut down. Do oh, do you? Yeah, you know, we had these people out in the backyard. We had a different company that was cutting down the tree, <laughs> and the guy used was using a chainsaw. No chain on the chainsaw. He finally realized that. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. So then he took a table saw. Folks, this is really true. I never thought to take a picture of it. He used one of those table saws there, you know. And oh, that, wow. And he used that to cut a tree down. And 
Wow. I went hysterical. I, I hey, any port in the storm. When I, I said, and I work. said to the guy, I said to the head maintenance man, I said, "This guy cut the tree down with a table saw." No, I go, that, yeah, that you know. is funny. I, I, I showed Scott. That's it. Would, it would, I'm just glad that he didn't hurt himself. I know. Well, you know, it's funny. People do stuff like that. It's true. They don't think. They really don't think. They just figure, well, it will saw it. Yeah. And I looked at him. I said, "How can you do that?" You know, mm -hmm. I used to chase her and cut my toe off there to sew it back on. Cut it out. Yeah, not in dairy. I Why did it. you do that? Because Why I, I was just got through giving a two bed to a chain, cha used of a chainsaw. Yeah. And one of the guys made me mad. I wasn't paying attention. But they sewed it back on, and you never know. Really? Either. Yeah. Yeah. I had Does to go to dairy. and everything. Oh yeah. Good old. Yeah. And I wow. went down to dairy, and the guy didn't speak English, and he sewed it on. Right. I had to go back up to Laconia and have him redo it all over again. Wow. I'm going to just say they gave me my final check, and I didn't go back. I, mean, I, I know. I don't know why they let you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and it's all part of the lessons in life. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and so this is the lesson that I was taught. Good thing it was only a toe. And yeah. It's got to be more serious, you yeah. know. And uh, um, then uh, I decided, you know what? That you work isn't for me. You know? <laughs> and, but you know, I did it. I did a lot of that you, you can make, even though you and I, you know, when I use the word program, and I'm going on any job that you have, you can train yourself to the like. Norm, I'm not so sure because I, I was a kid. But there was a little crawly there. I was a kid. I had, this was in Malden, Mass. Yeah. Friends Beans used to be there, right? I got a job, I don't know how old I was, high school, right? Yeah. On the 3 to 11 shift, right? This was my job. All the cans of beans, every single can of bean coming off the conveyor belt before they'd have guys at the end putting them in the boxes to ship. I had a coat hanger, this was my <laughs> job. I had to tap every single can of beans, and if it sounded hollow, you can't, you, I tried, you cannot, I just could not get myself to like that job. Well, look so at I what did. it's doing for you then. This is, yeah. A, it's giving you a paycheck. Well, that, right, exactly, okay. it did give me a paycheck. It's giving you a place right. to go. But Right, that's true, it yeah, got that's me off the streets, kept me out of trouble, yeah, but. Yeah. Oh yeah. So well, I worked eight in hours yeah. every day. That's all I worked I on a farm in the, in the where <coughs> the uh, cabin it was, and oh, I mean, a big, as big as this room, full of cow poop. Ooh. And I wore a nose plug, and I wore it. I, I couldn't deal with it. But I tried. But I, then I said, you know what? My mother always said, look for the positive in it. And the way I looked at it was, I think I got two dollars an hour. Nice, see? You know, back then. Yeah. That was a lot of money back then. Then another time when I graduated high school, I was laying underneath a tree because I was hung over. <laughs> and I had a flower in my hand, and the owner came up, took the flower out of my hand, and gave me my paycheck. Really? Yeah, he didn't have a sense of humor. I guess not, I know. Huh? But, you know, but I, I, every job that I've had, I haven't had a whole lot of them, but I always look at every job I've ever had, I've learned to... You know, I appreciate what other people. I yeah. worked at BFI, was a recycling company. I think, yeah, we talked about that, where they you pick up the garbage, you know, all that. Yeah, they do all that garbage line and wear gloves and smelling. Right. And yeah, that's what I learned how to appreciate other people are just as good as I am. Right. Well, I did that in high school during the summer, behind the garbage yeah. truck yeah. or the trash truck. Yeah. Really, it wasn't garbage, but yeah. and yeah, but. Norman, the stuff that people would throw away. That's amazing. It was in some of the stuff. It was sm you couldn't come back. You couldn't leave it and come back. But if it was small enough, we'd put it on the side of the truck or something, you know, or whatever. But some of the and then I, I always remember. I don't think a day went by you'd empty trash yeah. money. Yeah, not a lot, but you I know, I found a hundred dollar the, bill one time. Wow, I would find dollar bills, yeah. but I never found but, big dollar you know, bills. And, uh, but the one thing I learned, this is what in my, in my early days I'm getting sober, and this is what I learned to appreciate what I have. 
because I'd see some of them people come in and they were, and I'm not judging them at all. They don't come in hungover or mm -hmm. they don't work that day so they didn't get money because of one of those days. You yeah. got paid every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd walk in there and I'd, you know, and then come in, could, you know, once they got that check, they were gone, you know, next thing you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and I always say that because that's how I was rebuilding my life back together. And yeah. I say the check and stuff. And, I'm, and that's why I say everybody can rebuild their life if they want to. That's very, tr that's exactly true. It is. I, 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 I can't count the times that I've been down and out and then real built myself back up. Yeah. But I had to get sober first, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was a choice that my son encouraged me by not allowing me to be around me if I was drinking. So, yeah, that's a you good... That's and a, it was a good wake-up call. Yep, yeah, that you is. Know? That's a good motivator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I, today I'm very blessed. Welcome to Norm's Community Corner. Hi, Norm. How you guys doing? Hey, Mary. we're doing very well. How are you doing, Mary? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm with you guys and letting you uh, talk about different jobs. It is. When you have a bunch of jobs like that, you know, <laughs> I had one job and I hated it with a passion. <laughs> in the morning, she went out and punched out at no time. <laughs> and that was, you know, with the hides, the hides and all that, raw hides and all that. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. I hated that. Thank you, it was terrible. <laughs> was that like a tanning company in Pentecost? Yeah. 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 No, that's the one down on, that was down on South Commercial Street. Oh. I went from the tanning place, I went downstairs. Uh-huh. We were making caskets. And I made Ooh. toys. Wow. That's, that, that's right. Big, you know, the railroad saws and all that. Yeah. But, you know, there are a lot of jobs out there. I try to find a good part in it. And right, yeah. uh, like when I worked on the recycle line or whatever. And if I looked at it, it's a check coming in to pay the bills, you know. That's right. It was money coming in. It would yep. pay the bills, pay for your car or yep. do something. Yeah. Pay yep. for your food. Yeah. Want to tell everybody who you are, Mary? Yeah, Cruising with Mary. I'm on the same channel only on Thursday at 5 o'clock. Same time, same bad channel. That's right. And who you got for a guest tomorrow? I have a minister tomorrow coming in. Are you becoming holy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, you know what? Oh, my, 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 uh, my jeans, because I got too many holes. There you go. <laughs> hey, I had Tony on last, was it last week? Or the week before? Yeah, last week. When was it? And he was awesome. Was it? No, two weeks ago. Was it last two? week you had... Last week, oh yeah, yeah. Well, Tony, he's quite the artist, isn't he? Yeah, uh, and Anthony, yes, he is. He really, he does a fabulous yeah. job, and you know, and I, uh, I appreciated him being on. I'm going to yeah. be rebooking him again. He's a very interesting yeah. individual. Yeah, you know, how are you? How's your uh, how's your cousin feeling? Uh, right now, they're not letting anybody in to see them. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, yeah, she, they, have, they they shut down some of the nursing homes, and that's one of them. Yeah, oh. yeah. See, I, I'm a firm believer, Mary, that they can mm -hmm. wear like a surgical cap yeah, and a yeah. glove and a gown, and even shoes to to, to the, the one and the mask, of course, to go and see their loved ones. Right. You know, because yeah. I think I yeah. like I had a lady come in, and her name was Mrs. McGee. She knows you, Mary. Yeah. yeah, and uh, her husband was at the Hillsboro Nursing Home, and yeah. he, she, they couldn't go to see him, and he died alone in the, in the room. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. I, I, I agree with that. You know, yeah. Terrible, terrible, oh, terrible. It is. Yeah, and then there's a yeah, shortage right. of, and then there's a shortage of healthcare workers. Oh God, yeah. It's all you see is they want help, nurses, RPNs. They want yeah. everything now. But, but if they don't have the shot, they're going to fire them. Well, that's yeah. why that's what's yeah, adding, yeah, what's, yeah. that's what's contributing to that. is pushing that, you know. Yeah, One, well, you know something, I, I agree with that. If you're a nurse, doctors, in fact, I saw a doctor last month, and I gave him my paper where I had my shots. And yeah. he went again, and he was my kidney doctor, my right. new kidney doctor, yeah. because of my kidneys right now. And he says to me, have you had your shots? I says, yes, I have. I said, I already showed him the paper. I've had both shots. So I turned around and I, and you, everybody has their rights. Right. 
if you have a new doctor or your doctor, who it is, and you say to them, have you had your shots? Because you don't know if they have it, they're a carrier. I don't want it. No. I don't care. Yeah. Nobody wants to put it that way. Yeah. So I says to him, did you have your shots? And he says to me, what would happen if I said no? I said, I would say bye-bye. I would walk out. Why? Did you have a mask on? Yeah, he did, but it still didn't. It still didn't matter to me. He ain't had his shots. I'm walking out. Why? Yeah, but why? You've had you've had yours, right? I've had mine, but I don't care. Yeah. Well, why don't why don't? If I have mine, you yeah. better make sure you have yours, and you don't. And say if he had something, and he, you know, some it's very, uh, you know, it's very tolerant to everything like that. Yeah. Well, I, get it. Yeah. I just had a lady I'm friend. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm me, and that's yeah. who I am. And that's know? who you are, and that's who you want to be. I have a lady that's friend right. of mine who uh, yeah. had this shot, and I actually took a picture of it. And there's a spoon that I put her on her on her arm when she had the shot that would magnetically stay in right there. Yeah. I cannot you get Mary on well, Facebook. I mean, if they have they're asking you if you had your shot. Yeah, then you, you had the right to ask it. The doctor they had this. Absolutely, I agree. Oh, with I it. agree with you yeah, too, I, but that's what a lot of times, Mary. If I go to the doctors, like I went and had a heart check done, and yeah. I asked them what. Oh no! <laughs> I oh, asked here goes them, the set. Well, <laughs> I asked them what qualifies them to give me the heart test. They got really insulted. Wow. They said, He's going to ask you what qualifies you to do this and that. Well, if you go to a car mechanic, don't you want to know their background or yeah. a carpenter? Why yeah, can't right. we ask your nurse practitioner or your nurse or your health care provider? Why don't we should have the right to question them? Right. Well, you yes, know. you do. Yeah. Right. It's, you I can, mean, they, that, like, they say, hey, mom, have you had your shot? Yeah. And you say, I have my paper to show I had my shot. Right, yeah. You have the right to say, okay, doctor, you have yours. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, have your rights to yeah, do it. Yeah. By the way, Mary, remember Pam that comes on my show? That, and Eric and uh, Carrie, they come on my show, the Paranormals. Yeah. They were the one from Maine? Yep. Yeah, they were yeah. on their way down and they got into a car accident. Oh, my goodness. I hope they're okay. Yeah, they yeah, called they and told okay. me. I wish he lost his mother a couple of months right, ago. Right, huh? you're right. Yeah. 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 I that, saw that. Yeah, very nice people. You know. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that I have, I'll tell you, another one I think is pretty sharp looking at Mike Gonzalez. Have you had him on your show? Which one is that? Mike, Mike Gonzalez, he's a, an abstract artist. Gonzo. Gonzo. Yeah, yeah, he's known as Gonzo. Yeah, yeah. He was pretty interesting. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah you know. But, you know, you and I are very fortunate, Mary. We get some pretty interesting gifts. It's not the oh, same. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, I've had quite a few different uh, people who wrote books. Yeah. And I got one coming on the third week, the last week uh, for the show. That's a, another author. I have the, there's a, something you they would like. The London Dairy uh, Motodrome. Uh-huh. They're out of, uh, the old Motodrome here in Manchester. Right. Yeah, it used to be. And then there's some of the nicest guys you want to meet. They're coming on in two weeks. They're coming in on 11th. And they got the owner, co-owner, and I have the drivers coming in at the same time. Yeah. yeah. That ride. Yeah. See, yeah. that's what... Nice, yeah, nice see, yeah. see, you and I don't follow the routine of all these different politicians and all these other no, different no, things. No, I won't do it. No. no. Uh, my no. Sh like with you, our show is our show. You know? Yeah. And I'm not... I, I can't conform to other people will come in and say, well, this is what we're going to do, oh, this is what yeah. we're going to do. No, Somehow. I someone try that with me, yeah. and I says, I'm sorry. I tore the paper up. I said, either we talk like we're doing now yeah. or nothing. No, I'm not going by any paper. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame I, you. I, I get too tongue-tied when I, when I yeah. uh, no. have to follow no, somebody else's group. No. Yeah. I want everybody to relax. Be yourself and have fun. Exactly. That's right. the best way, Mary. The only thing I did yeah. learn the hard way is don't smoke a homemade cigarette before you go on a show. <laughs> 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 you 
Because the one time I did it, I could uh, swear I had this woman years and years ago. She brought in this angel, uh -huh. and I swear I could see that angel floating all around. <laughs> then I, <laughs> I said, that's it. That's uh, yeah, it. I don't no. blame you. Yeah. So, <coughs> but when I did my radio show, that was a different story. Oh, uh, yeah. well, yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah I remember that now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had, uh, Mary, you and I always had fun with our shows. Yeah, we do. And we, yeah, we you know, and Dave has become quite a regular. I'm glad I'm going to call my co-host because <laughs> we have a lot of fun talking about things. You know? Yeah, yeah. And you know, they, yeah, some things do. we agree on, some things we don't. You know, but it'd be that's rather right. boring. That, that's part of life. Yeah, well, like with Matt and I, we hardly ever, ever agreed on anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And that's what made it good because uh -huh. I didn't agree with him. That's and, it. Yeah. You know. Yes. Yeah, you know. Well, I could play devil's advocate. Yeah. <laughs> we went to to cereals the other night, Mary, for uh, a steak sandwiches. Where? Yeah. To cereals down here. Where's that? The one that we went and got the grill. Oh, is that the name of it? Yeah. <laughs> and yet, they, they, um, the sandwiches were good, but I found hair in one of mine. In a half. In, in like half, yeah. And, I, and you know what, Mary? They were so nice about it. They took the whole bill off. So, nice. and I complimented them because I didn't rate, I showed them first and they even apologized yeah. to for it. So, you know, and what, you know, everybody, errors happen, you know, yeah. and I'll definitely yeah, go back in true. there again. Oh, me and me. Yeah. I got a steak, cheese, and mushroom sub, Mary. Oh, it was <laughs> delicious. I like that, believe the mushrooms. Oh, I can't stand mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I know other yeah. people yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. Scott shared his. <laughs> Yeah. Scott shared his grinder with me. Oh, did he? Yeah, on did some he, Well, you said he spoils you. Yeah, so, hey. yeah. And well, then, and then, maybe next month I got and some openings, uh, a couple openings. How about you guys coming on my show? I'd love to have you too. Okay, let me get sure. to, okay. Let yeah. me get together with Dave we'll, and you. We'll set up a date. How's that? All right, yeah, that's yeah. good. No, oh, okay. thanks, Mary. Yeah. yeah. Okay You're then. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you go because you know All we right. got other. Hey, Mary. Have a great day, and remember, every day you're the winner. Uh, that you know, I it's like I always say at the end of my show: be kind to one another, and that's all that counts. That's yeah, exactly that's right. It. You know, anyway, right? Yeah. No. I mean, yeah, daughter. That Crystal sitting here looking at you. Oh, hi, Crystal <laughs> is her cat, and that's funny. <laughs> cat Crystal. When she she watch that show, and then Mary comes on my show, and she gives you the right. We have to stop at Market Basket. We have to buy a chicken for that cat to have. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you know, you know. And one thing about Mary and I don't agree on politics. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll yeah. But we're still good friends. Good. Yep. That's one thing I can say, Norm. Yep. Even on my show, I don't care who you are. If yep. you're Democrat, Republican, and the uh, yep. independent, yep. it don't bother me a bit. No. I got. Let me tell you, a lot of Republican friends. Yeah. Not too many Democrats, but a lot of Republicans and Independent. Right. And don't bother me who you are. No. Nope. You've got to be yourself. Yeah. Exactly right. And I, I have, you know, this is it, you know. Uh, I. That's when I tell people, when you go to vote, you may be on a Democratic or don't vote for the party. Vote for the person. For the person. Yeah. Okay. Mary ran for uh, well, House Rep, right, Mary? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did. I missed it by 20, I think 23 votes. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. that's close. Did, you could taste it being that close. Yeah. But at yeah. least you could say that's you ran, Mary. Ride. But it was fun. I did yeah. it. Yeah. And I enjoyed doing it and meeting yeah. people. So yeah. it was okay with me. Yeah. I enjoy, everyone said I should run for Alderman, but I like my Alderman. Bill Barry yeah. and I are very good friends. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I, I owe him, I have to take him out to dinner because uh, the mayor won. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go out to dinner. But uh, I happen to like what he does for the award. I can't say yeah. anything about, you yeah, know. He's, what, he was, he's in what, Ward 10. Ward 10, yep. I believe, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. There again, I'm not judging him by his party. And when I went to go out and I come out, I felt like I was a celebrity. People watch my show. Mary, you and I have a very yeah. popular oh, show. Oh, God, yeah, I do. I go in the market basket and they'll haul 
Hey, Mary! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Because, you know, my plate gives me away, and everybody knows me yeah. as any other Q81. Yeah. And when I see the plate, they'll go by me, and they'll say, Hi, Mary! <laughs> yeah. And, then, and that's pretty awesome. When do you have a vanity <laughs> plate? I don't say, Hi, there! Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, even at the doctor's office, I was up at my cancer doctor's office, People out there, hey, I want you on your TV show, and I thank them for yeah. it, you know. And I have my picture taken with them. Wow. The other day, yeah. Mary, I had some people that are from China, and they said, you know what, you're part of our family now, and they took a picture. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. what's rewarding about what we yeah. do. Yeah. You know? Mary, yeah. Mary, you know what, I got to tell this story, Mary. We told, my daughter-in-law does not like carrot. No shape, no weight, no home. Mary made some carrot, and she <laughs> loved them. Oh, really? Right, Mary? I make them the Canadian way. Yeah. What's that? What's the Canadian way? you got to have maple syrup. Oh, no wonder she loved them. I agree. Maple syrup, yeah, but there's a certain way you, you have to do it. I mean, just didn't put maple syrup into it. Ah. Yeah. yeah. She I made, like Mary made, made her a special dish. Wow. Yeah. I like carrots anyway, but yeah. maple syrup. Yeah. I love oh, me too. Me too. maple syrup makes everything better. Everybody yeah. tells me I'm un American. I don't like pizza and I don't like maple syrup. Oh, you don't like pizza? No. Oh. I could eat pizza every yeah. single yeah, I mean, day. I like it in the morning. I even like it cold. What, pizza? <laughs> If I wow. can, if I can smoke in too much, then I'll have a pizza. You know, but uh, no, I'm not a big pizza eater. I love grinders, you know, but I'm not really a big. big I love. I could eat pizza every single day. I love pizza. Yeah, me too. I love pizza. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. pizza with pineapple. Oh, do oh Hawaiian. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. I w I will take that back. I will eat that. Or oh, I'll, eat, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll eat a calzone with spinach. Oh, I like cheese calzone. and, tomato yeah, and tomatoes. Calzone. You know, when a, that's a just mic. like a rolled up pizza. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll eat that. You know, uh -huh. but um, I don't know why. I, 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 just something. That, uh, it's mm. me. I know, but it's just that. You know. Yeah. But but Mary makes a lot of awesome dishes. She makes a good. What was that you made out of chili? Wasn't it, Mary? That day uh. I bet. What was that that you made that you and you made two crock crock pots of it and we had and we went out and we ran oh, out yeah, of it. That's the time I made the uh, Portuguese stew. Yeah. Are you that Portuguese time. or Canadian? No, she's Canadian. But she well, was Portuguese. I made it. It was a Portuguese. Ah. Yeah. Her, her partner was a, oh. with you. But, so, well, I'm going to be planning on you, because I'm looking in the May and June, making a couple more of those crock pots. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're going to be done. In, we're going to have it yeah, in May, by the way, Julie. Spaghetti gonna, and, yeah. and that, was just like when I made the spaghetti that time, I said, well, I'll try it in that time. Yeah. And that spaghetti one, I call it my mother's spaghetti. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't keep, uh, you know, people were upset, and we were, and uh, she went through two, I'm talking about Whoa. two big crock pots. Yeah. Not the little one, but the mm -hmm. big one. And yeah, we went through ones, two of them. Yeah. Wow. And mm -hmm. we had a lot of other stuff that went left over, you know, when sitting there. Uh -huh. when, you know, so, you know. <laughs> but we, we, I'm planning another one, I'm thinking like late May, early June, Mary. Yeah. But I mean, I've done a coma, you know. Yeah. I, I couldn't. And it's going to be down in Brookline, New Hampshire. Yeah, I know it is. That, that's not too far from Parker's. Right. Uh, barn. Yeah. Oh, no, do you, I don't have, Pocket, we'll have to go there sometime, Pocket's Barn. Where's they have that? the best oh, breakfast. Where's that? Out, out, it's outside of Milford, right? Yeah, it's yeah. over on uh, Route 13. Yeah, yeah, and I'll take you to that Buddhist colony. Oh, I've been, to, I told you, I went to a Buddhist thing in... Cambridge one time, yeah. Central Square. Yeah. They I got don't know one, what you yeah. call them. Yeah. They got one up in my hometown at Springfield, New Hampshire now. They have a Buddhist call. I'll go up there and take a look. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, anyways, now you have a good night, and we'll, I'll get back to you, and we'll set up a day, okay? Yeah. We'll you see too. you, Mary. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That woman has been through a hell of a lot with sickness. Oh, really? And kidneys and her liver. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. She's a very bad diabetic. She's on the insulin. So we constantly pray for her. You know. She had a red Cadillac then. I just want to say, don't ask me why. I didn't say anything about when she's on the phone. For some reason, it just kept hitting slippers, her slippers. 
the what? No, no. Her slippers. Oh, yeah. She wears slippers. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Her, she is, her and Cass are her babies. Good. Mine's yeah. Fred's mine. Isn't it amazing how they, you know, we grow, I, I like it better than people. One thing about cat and dogs, you know what, they're always yeah. there. They might That's have them right in their room, but they're always there. Well, you know, it's the funniest thing, because when I, like, when I left today, wherever Fred is sleeping, you know, but it seems no matter when I, I go out, no matter what time I come back, I got his, you know, little perch right in front of the window. We live on the third floor. So every time I come home, he's always in that perch. And if he's sleeping or what, he know got to know the sound of the car because I parked the car and you can see him looking and I always point and he knows it's me. And by the time I get upstairs, when I open the door, he's right there all the time. Well, my puppy, Chicky, before she passed, it'll be, what, two years this month? Yeah. Okay. And uh, she always knew when I was coming home. The last day I saw her alive, she was sitting there by the door because we just got done doing a TV show. Mm -hmm. And she came in and we went in the office and she said goodbye. Wow. Yeah. She hmm. used to, before Scott used to come to the studio, she used to make Scott wait out in the driveway for me to come home. Cut it off. Yeah. Right, Scott? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, and they know. They do. You know? Well, it's just like when I left today, I told Fred, I says, I won't be gone too long. And I told him, I says, you know, today's Wednesday, I'm going on the cable show. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And well, she puts it on, Crystal watches our show, Mary Scott. Oh, yeah? yeah. All right. Yeah, you know. And when Chicky, I used to have to put it on the, the show, too, you know. Yeah. Animal, yeah. one thing, folks, you know, animals are fantastic. All they ask is to feed them. Boy, they can eat. But feed them, make sure they have their shots or whatever. And love them. That's all they ask. But do, sometimes, this is what I think. Us people, whatever, you, the spiritual, right? The, you know, and yeah. such. For some reason, I get the sense that I relate to... We, the animals differently than a lot of people do. Right. We all do, you know. Like when Scott relates with the cat, and it's so cute, the cat will be sound asleep, right? Mm -hmm. And Scott will come home or go out, he'll get up and go out there. You can see that little black cat oh, here. Really? He's trucking out, his little legs are moving, wow. this is they good, you know. And that, we call him Mr. Shadow. Well, that's but a good we have to keep from. him separated from Big, the big Boy. Okay. But I think Why once they we go at it? Oh, yeah. But I think that once Big what Mr. Shadow gets his, you know, fixed or whatever, that he'll be a lot calmer. Right, that it will calm They're down. They're both wild cats, so, you know, they both yeah, so, cats. Yeah, so extraterritorial. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. And, no, oh, yeah. you sit, don't laugh. Have you sat them each down separately and talked to them? Oh, yeah. We go in on your, I, when I'm in my office, I'll talk to him in my office. Yeah. Well, this is a funny story, but it's a true story, and this is only going back a couple of years. This, Lady I know in Lowell, she always used to complain the cat wakes her up between 3.30 and 4 o'clock every single day. So Her name was Barbara. So And the cat's name was Danny, a black cat. Mm. So I go, Barbara, did you ever talk to the cat about it? She says, what do you mean? I said, sit down. I says, and you tell Danny. I said, sit him down, have a nice talk with him. I says, and tell him. That he, he's not to wake you up, we'll say, before sunrise. You know, 3.30, 4 o'clock is ridiculous. She says, come on. I says, well, I says, if you don't mind waking up between 3.30 and 4 o'clock every day, then don't do anything. Give him a talking. She talked to him, and she couldn't believe it. She says, he stopped. <laughs> Big boy, at 5 well, o'clock every morning, I'm awake. Really? And then, poor Scott, I'll wake him up. It's, because big boy will go out at night, we have to go bring him in to have breakfast uh, and stuff, uh -huh. you know. And uh, then again, I wake Scott, he goes, he brings my coffee in for me, and make yeah. sure I take my medication and all that, you know. But cats, they're great. Dog, I'm not a big, big cat fan. I'm more of a dog fan, but I can't uh -huh. have a dog where I'm at now, you know. And I gotta tell you, they do a, uh, the black cat, just, he's getting so big, he just, I have to share the couch with him. Wow. No, yeah, but that's okay. So, you want to see if Gary's out there? Uh, I don't he's out there. No, okay. Earlier. He can't make it. No, oh, it's, okay. yeah, it's still, yeah. It's not, oh, it's yeah. early. Yeah. 
We're doing pretty yeah. well, aren't we? We yeah, are. What do you think? Can you show me the card, what we got coming forth in this country? All right. I'll do three cards. Let me shuffle them up. Then I'll do three. Shake yep. them. Huh? Then I'll do three. All right. I'll do three cards. So this we'll see what's coming up. Hold on. And you know me. I do them in order. So one, two, and three. So... Let's see what we got coming up here for everyone. All right. Well, Ace of Wands. I love it. Ace of Wands. Wands is, you know, uh, focusing on, you know, areas you want to go, avenues you want to take. Ace of Wands, look at it. It's the beginning of a new direction. And it it's even, it already started yesterday in Virginia, the people down there really, you know, I'm sure thought, hey, they're taking our freedom away, unacceptable. They went out and made the change already. And look at it, and we'll say, here you are, and it, hopefully even more people are gonna wake up, and it, they're gonna decide from one day to the other, and you know, because you see all these little leaves, we'll say those are like your sort of uh, freedoms and liberties that they all wanted to sort of take away from you, stifle you, or uh, uh, limit you with doing, but nope, we said enough is enough is enough, so there you go, Ace of Rods, new direction, new road, new path, and as by the, even as you can see in the distance too, there's a nice castle there, so you know, we got a ways to go, but it's a beginning, and then here we, and then we keep going, the Knight of Wands. See, so it was the beginning, which we'll say is yesterday, goes to the Knight of Wands, all right? The Knight is somebody, well, not as old as me, so there's lots and lots of energy there, and as you can see, he's on a horse, so he's moving, and he's, you know, a, there's really, you can see it's sort of blase behind him, there's a few, and here's a little goal here, uh, mountains to overcome, but that's not for a while. In the meantime, it's sort of smooth sailing. Again, there's a few options there, but here we are. Look at them, and we have uh, on his uh, yellow hair, we have a lot of warmth there, a lot of uh, caring, open-heartedness. And it's also with this burst, little, you know, not really burst of energy, the Ace of Wands is the burst of energy, but with this continuing energy, you know, and it's sort of being able to, you know, to sort of adapt and sort of, I'm going to even say, manipulate the situation to be more favorable uh, to America and what we really deserve here. And, of course, here we are. Look at this. The four of rods now. And what do you see? Look at it. Here's the wreaths up here. This is, this is, see it? Yeah. The, all the wreaths up there A victory. And yeah. look at it. You have the people have just crossed under it. They finally, hold we it. keep. You're putting, you're putting it on the kit. You got to hold your kit oh. on still. All right, because I see it there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all right. <laughs> So I'm what can I I get carried away, yeah. but so and you can see them in there. They've gone through, they've made it through the threshold. These from the first card to the second card, they didn't give up and now look, now they're really in there. They're celebrating, they've made it home. It's gonna come to fruition. Everything is coming around, it's going our way. It's cause for celebration, believe me, and you'll see a big change coming, a positive change, a well-deserved change, and everybody's, it's just going to sort of snowball to more, it's going to be very positive, you'll see. Mark my words. There we we got it marked. <laughs> All right. And I agree. Look at that, but isn't that funny? All yeah. ones. All right. Oh, kind of like what you said, Dave. Breakthrough. 
Isn't, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Huh? Breakthrough. In other words, folks, <clears throat> big changes coming to this city. Big things are coming to the state and into the United States of the world. Big breakthrough. It's not going to happen right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to more concentrate on Manchester than I am anything else. But because Manchester, you gotta, you know, we're, we're going to survive. Even though we're, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm lots of disappointed, yeah. but we're going to survive. But we all have to work together to, to work to, to make this a wonderful place again. Okay, mm -hmm. and that goes from the mayor to the alderman to the school board and executive school board and to the citizens of this, of this beautiful city. The breakthrough is when we see that people are getting tired of having people like going into your car or oh, uh, man, the homeless kidding. people yeah. begging for money, you know. That's going to be a big breakthrough mm -hmm. and, and people are going to be accountable. The lost. The lost is where we've lost so much in this city that people have got to learn how to bring it back. We can't make up. We can't bring the lost back, but we can make up for it. That's for sure. Okay, and if, that is if people want to. Right. I think that I think they will. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully, um, the, the, the people will take. Oh well, this one's doing a great job, so we're going to keep it. Nine out of ten. ten they, they didn't even look down the lawn. They, no. they just saw that Democrat. That right, was yeah, exactly okay. right. Yep, you know? they saw and the people deal. are afraid to vote. So the, the losses, we've lost a lot of votes because of what has happened in the past mm -hmm. with, uh, with Biden and all this forgery you know, that's going on. But the loss is to the revenue that we're going to lose, going to lose, because with the Board of Education uh, has got to wake up, the city and all of them and all that, and all these taxes are going to be going up and up. Mm -hmm. And businesses are not going to want to come in here. No, they're not. You know, especially, especially. Well, not reading, but especially yeah. if they won't, get, if the people in charge won't answer questions. Right. You know, and I did call Chris Pappas, and not, not got a response, by the way. My natch. Yeah. Intuition. Folks, every one of us have strong intuitions. Right or wrong, follow your own guide, follow your own intuition. Yes. Follow what is right for you. Nine out of ten, when you're doing an intuition, like for the city, you know what's right, what's wrong. And we got to find a way of bringing people back into this city, into downtown. we got to find, use your intuition. Use the following ways of doing it. You can do it. You can do it, you know. The, we all have strong intuitions. Mary has it. Um, everybody, even Everyone, your brother. Every, yep. Even though your brother keeps on talking, he still yeah, has oh, you're it. Not you know. kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but oh. When Tony, his intuitions are his artwork. artwork. Mm -hmm. Great guy, great artist. Can't complain about him. But the, the, the feelings that I have, folks, is we have to all let go of the hate. Let go of the hate. Start learning to appreciate. It. Am I happy the way the polls came out? No, but I'll work with it and I'll accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. because there was a lot of mistakes made in this campaign, but I'm going to accept whatever happened because the spirit put her there for a reason. Like okay. it or not, you know, you know, and uh, you know we have to accept it. Just like I said. Uh, Saddling congratulations, you know. <laughs> you know. But we have to accept, you know what? Believe it or not, they talk about climate control, they talk about all this other control, you mm -hmm. know. You can do all the man made stuff you want, but you know what? The higher power is gonna take over. Yeah. The universal spirit is has got everything under control. Exactly. Plus, you know, going like going back to that, Mother Nature always balances out always on her own without what a, without people trying right. to manipulate yeah. it it's just not going to yeah. work you, you and i it breaks my I, I don't see bumblebees anymore oh i see them where i live yeah. oh yeah i saw a lot of them too yeah. oh good because i don't see yeah. any of them anymore i'd go out on the balcony they'd come visit 
Yeah. So, well, you think right. bumblebees are good? They help make the honey. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I just want to you know go back to where you said the loss and how to bring right. sort of people back to the city. But aren't they gonna just want? Aren't they gonna? sort of run here so they can't get here fast enough after they hear my story okay. about yeah. a homeless person opening the door to my car trying to get yeah. in my car. Yeah. Isn't that inviting? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, and like a lot of the people will not come downtown. That's For that reason. Yeah. No what. Well, I believe that the restaurant teams here are losing a lot of money. Well, you know, they probably are. I bet they're losing money, but what do they got to do? Every get all together, start a, start a petition, sign a petition, start calling the mayor's office every day. And just They've done that. I've seen that, that has happened. Don't. But the ALUC and the mayor work together and say, you cannot stop them from being there. Well, yeah, they can't stop rights. them from being here, but they, you know, they can stop them from hanging out in the doorways. Right. But if they're on the side here and not far from the door, but people, I'm not gonna. If I go into, want to go into a restaurant like Cesario's, good yeah. food, but that, um, <clears throat> and there's somebody sitting there, and, and they got a bunch of bags. In there. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go in there. Right, exactly. But I mean, they can do a law against that. I mean, you know, they can, yeah. you got to keep moving. You you do. You go out there. They're sitting down. They got the bags with them and the cup. Homeless. Anything helps. Yeah. God bless. Well, there's a guy that you and I and Scott see all the time that sit out there, right? Mm -hmm. He dresses pretty nice. Oh yeah, he he's not homeless. He's just uh, trying to make a easy and money. A lot of these phones, uh, I can't afford a five six hundred dollar phone. I know it's unbelievable. Yeah. That's Can you? Right. Nope. And uh, that guy and the guy you're talking about, yeah. guy, he's dressed better than we are. Yeah. I wouldn't have these mm -hmm. clothes if my friend didn't donate them to <laughs> right. me. You know. <laughs> But, you know, I'm still pretty happy to what I have. And I'm yep. grateful, I'm like you are. I was sitting to Scott, and I said, you know what, Scott? We're pretty lucky. We're pretty fortunate, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You That's know, I know. always say that. Yeah. One of the things I think that might have hurt Victoria, but Victoria, I love you dearly. I wish you had a one. When, when she kept putting all the, the correct chaos on the phone. On the, I, she meant oh, is well. that what that sign? Chaos, yeah, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was Victoria's. Yeah, oh, okay. she meant well. Don't get me yeah. wrong, you know. But I don't. But you can't keep doing. You, if you're gonna play, say what you're going to do to help it. Gonna improve, try to do right. to help improve the. the exactly city. right. How, and we need to try to improve education. We need to try try to improve the help of people, you know. And uh, I also say with the people that are homeless. What are we doing to help them? They start moving them all around, you know, and they weren't here, and then they all of a sudden they get there. And you watch, and I, I would willing to bet this, and you, as you say, I'm willing to bet, now that the elections are over, we're not going to hear that much about the homeless people. Naturally, they'll we're be We're not going to hear much about the drug problem or whatever. What we're going to see is a drug crime race. Right, more drug houses or whatever they call them, trash yeah. houses. I don't yeah. have a clue, yeah. but whatever. Yeah, but we're going to see those. Yeah, yeah. more of those. And uh, we need to have, you know, people that are on the social. They want to put social workers instead of having cops. It's what so is that? ridiculous. What is that so in other words, someone that, uh, has a domestic violence fight. Okay, the, the guy and his wife or or two guys. They're going to send a social worker. Mm -hmm. To prepare. Now, what happens if the person, the, the perpetrator, and the social worker, and the social worker gets killed? Right, exactly. I know. But what a joke. And this is what Biden wants. I know. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. By the way, they got them, they still sent it. I just, this is in Lowell, because I, I told you I lived there, yeah. I liked it there. But they just started, I forget how many social workers they hired. Not to go out alone, but they're going to, um, it's something I, it's, I'm pretty sure it's like if you call 911, we'll say for domestic violence, yeah. they send a police officer, but then they also are going to ask, would you like a social worker also? Yeah, well, I, my husband beat me up. Yeah, I want a yeah, social, social worker. worker. I know. Or he's got a gun at my throat. I want a social <laughs> worker. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, okay. I know. Well, he's killing the cop, right? And the exactly, social worker. Right. Oh, you know you didn't need to I do know. that. I know. Oh, you bad person. Yeah. Oh, you. you know that somebody else 
uh, intimidated you, so you didn't mean right. to do that, you know? Come That's on. because you never got over the loss of your father. <laughs> so I, I, you know, really, come on. I, I hate it when they say, well, he had a bad childhood. I had a bad childhood. But it doesn't I mean think I everybody's, had right got, to, everybody's yeah, got yeah. a bad childhood. It doesn't mean everybody. that I had to go to jail, break a window right. or shoot somebody or whatever. Exactly, you know? right. You, know, you, can, you can overcome it if you want to. Well, I agree. People think they had a bad childhood. They don't know what it's like growing up the way we grew up. Oh, yeah. So you we want to talk about a bad childhood. Way. Yeah, go. I know what uh, a whip is on them, but your backside on your legs. Oh yeah, I know how to go in the woods and cut trees down. But you know what? I have no regrets for it. I learned either. it all. You know, and there were many times when my dad and I did have a good conversation. Yeah. You know, I talked to him one day about my personal feelings about being different than you know. Right, and me, and tell me that just yeah. that in itself. Yeah. And that's enough. I, you know, and then one day I can remember because I really resented my dad and myself. And then one day I was on the on the computer on Facebook. All of a sudden I had this big thing, and tears kind of throwing coming down my eyes, and I had to realize stop blaming your father, your brothers, your sisters. Yeah, exactly. Stop yep. feeling sorry and start learning how to love them. And start That's right. learning how to love yourself. They didn't. My dad never put that drink in my hand. That's, that's exactly you know? right. Yeah. My dad told, didn't tell me to go out and get married, and then he did, right. you know, or whatever. My, you know, and uh, he didn't tell me to get behind the wheel. Although I was right. really blessed and never got caught in DWI or anything, but he didn't put that in there. I chose it. Yeah. You know, and that's why when I go to an AA meeting, I haven't been in years, but. Um, Oh, alcohol did this. No. Alcohol may have given you the courage. courage. To exactly. Do it. That's right. Yeah. But don't blame the alcohol. That's right. You exactly. Know? And I think about all the money that I've saved. Oh, since you stopped? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one of the, now they got kind of blueberry beer and they got. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, stuff. that is. I like for me. if I'm going to drink. Although I, I do, a pumpkin shit. beer is is nice, but just like one. I want to, because it's sweet, so I wouldn't want two pumpkin beers, yeah. but one pumpkin beer. And now beer that I don't good. cigarette smoke, I see how much it cost. I think because I wouldn't be buying two packs a day with Scott and I. And a lot of times, three for my daughter in law, Scott and I. Okay. Wow. Well, we're going to get going, folks. Thanks. Oh, wow. I hope we haven't bored you guys. But it was a good show. I, had I enjoyed it. It went you know. by like that. Remember, folks, when you look out there every day, look in the mirror and say, you know what? I am the winner. See you next week. <laughs>